Hey, it's Two Hours Two Balls Gaming. Welcome back. Today we are going to be working on the issue that we face. Since the last video, I've replaced the tire that we struggled with, and you'll also notice the rubber slightly changed. I've taken off the boom, and that was actually because I got stuck. I was trying to trying to mine a little bit so that I didn't have to mine during the video, and I ended up flipping the rover completely over, and that was a joy. Something else that I've also added to our base is this tank looking thing right here. This is called a hydrogen tank and it just stores hydrogen in it. So if we go and take a look at it, you can see that I actually have it turned off currently, but it is currently 1.7% full. Um, and that slowly gets filled up by our O2 and hydrogen generator. So. As you can see, the sun's starting to go down. Large solar panels aren't getting as much light, so it's time that we really focus on trying to efficiently grab stuff. So we're gonna build our next vehicle. We're gonna put a, let's go back over here real fast. We need to grab some steel and some interior plates. Might need a little bit more than that. And we're going to place that. The next thing we're going to place is our landing gear like we did previously. We are going to be building a small block system. And if you remember, you just set it on top there. And then we're going to build essentially our docking arm that we'll be attaching our ship to. So currently this is going to be set up for mining but we are gonna actually switch it over eventually. They can also weld and grind, which is pretty sweet. So, something to discuss. This ship is actually going to be utilizing hydrogen, which uses these hydrogen tanks. We're gonna use hydrogen thrusters, which you can see those two right there, because the nature of um, Mars, there's no atmosphere. So, in order for me to be able to do anything, then I have to uh, have thrusters that work here. And currently, on uh, Mars, there is no oxygen, so no atmosphere. So that's, if you've seen my other videos, we built um, with hydrogen, or with atmospheric thrusters, that will not work here on Mars. Sweet, so I'm gonna grab those things that I need for those hydrogen tanks. I'm gonna put the hydrogen tanks at the center. Something else that is different about hydrogen tanks or hydrogen thrusters over atmospheric thrusters is they actually have to be connected to conveyor belts because they run off of hydrogen and not just electricity. Other thing that's kind of rough is these hydrogen tanks will actually start empty. Whereas previously, whenever you build batteries, the batteries start at 25%, so which gives you a little bit of boost so you can get it connected to whatever you're gonna connect it to to essentially charge it up. So we will probably be building a small O2 generator on the side, like we did with our rover, to convert some ice into hydrogen so that I can then attach it to something else that has larger capacity. And so you can tell that it's completely empty because all the red dots, those will turn green, they're like the batteries. They're an indicator. Okay, moving on to our next things, we need a cockpit. Make sure it's of the small variety. And we definitely are gonna need a battery. And some hydrogen thrusters. But we'll wait on those for a second. And I still haven't gotten bulletproof glass, which is not a big deal unless you're going to get being shot at, but it also makes it a little bit more robust. 
So we have an option which side we want to stick it on, or we could actually stick it on top, which might not be a bad idea. For now, I'm actually going to stick it on top. And there's a reason for that. And we'll get there. And we have our battery. Which we're going to mount literally just on the back side of that. Lock pit. So these hydrogen tanks are great because they allow for thrusters to be mounted to them. As you can see, they've got all these like little small ports. And so that allows me to mount thrusters to them. So something else that we are going to need is we're going to need a place for all of our drills to go on the front. That's something that, you know, since this is going to be a drilling ship. So we're going to build a conveyor port or conveyor junction on the front of a small variety. And then we're going to, we're missing some small tubes. I'm just gonna queue up some generic things to try to make sure we have everything we need. Which is actually the reason why I did what I did before uh, where I flipped the thing. Oh, that's not a junction port, that is a basic assembler. They look very similar. And there it is. So in the small variety, we have some three ports and then the other four sides all have large, which I'm going to want the three on the front. And we're short on the small tubes that we're meant to have. Sweet. That's starting to come together. And then we're going to add some drills, my friend. Cool. So the other thing we're going to need is a cargo container, right? So the whole point of this is that I'm going to be able to utilize my rover and hopefully park it on top and transport stuff. And so I don't need a ton of space just enough. So we're going to build just a single large cargo container, but it needs to make sure that we line up with the ports that are on the back here. So it'll actually, everything we mine will travel all the way through and out the back end into this cargo container. And that'll also be the storage place for some ice. Charge up my batteries real fast. While I'm in here, I can actually make sure my bottles are full. Oh, actually, yes. So the reason I can't transport it from the cockpit is, so on the back here, it's the same thing as the cockpit we have here and they're on the cargo container. You can see the fact that it's a large one. Oh, you can't see it on this one either, but you can kind of see there's a door. So there's no actual conveyor port in the back. So now I've got a place to store everything. So I'm gonna need an O2 generator. So that is gonna fill up the tanks and then I actually might add a second one. Uh, never mind, I just need a little bit. So on top of that, we also need a connector. And we need some hydrogen thrusters. I'm gonna put some of the large ones. So they come in two varieties. There's the large and then we have the small. The small are really small. So, 
Let's just queue up some bows and see how far we get. We might change that. And that's the beauty of this game is you're not tied in. You don't have to do it. You can do whatever you want. So I know that I have my O2 generator. Oh, can I have basic refinery? It's that one. So the small one has a large part on one side and small on the other. And this one, I am liking that large port on the side there. So, since there's already a small port up here, it's in between those two dots. I'm gonna put it so it's like that. And so we're gonna wanna start filling this up with some hydrogen so that we can fly it at the end of this video. So we're gonna come over here, grab as much ice as we can, which was not very much at all, but it's some. Once I get my inventory empty, we'll try again. Make sure that this is going. So our two generator. Yep, and we're filling up very slowly and the ice is disappearing. So we also have some hydrogen thrusters. So this is the hydrogen thruster size for this. Okay, so where we're gonna have the largest issue is down, right? Cause we're gonna try to keep myself right side up most of the time, right? So we're gonna build those like so. And we have this thing where we can flip them upside down. And then we also, so that will keep me up and down. But now I need forward and back as well. So this is gonna be an interesting looking ship. So I've got those there. And we are probably gonna do the exact same we did before, where we're gonna be matching them up. So you always, whenever you're building a spacecraft like this, you wanna make sure that your forward and your back are equal so you can slow down just as fast as you speed up. If anything, you actually wanna have more in reverse than you do in forward. Otherwise, you can get yourself into trouble. So I'm only gonna put two of these in the sideways directions because most of the time you don't normally go that direction. So now we're gonna start welding. I've got a lot of them. So this is gonna be quite a bit.
Okay, welcome back. So, I have welded all of the engines back in. It was multiple trips back, and I had to go mine some additional iron in order to make this happen. So, something that happened, you might have noticed in the when I sped it up, but this Gatling turret was actually shooting at some meteorites that were over here, and he shot up the uh, solar panel. Which was something I mentioned in the last video, but it actually happened in this one. That's okay, because we have that hydrogen engine over on the side there. And the battery's fairly charged, and the sun's about to set, so I'm not extremely worried. Okay, so the next step with this is we need to add our, grand or our drills. So the reason I chose this particular is because, if you notice, it has the small ports on the front. So... I'm right in the way. So I'm going to place this, and I'm going to place one below it, and I'm going to place one above it. So then I'm also going to, we're going to queue up some stuff. So we've got our drills. We're going to queue up three for now. And then we're going to also add the junction. We're going to add two more additional junction boxes. And if you remember, we're going to come over here. So this is the large block and these are the small blocks because we are making a couple of drills. I'm going to select this a couple of times in order for them to be queued up. And hopefully that's enough for a junction box. <laughs> it's a race against the clock, it feels like, because the uh, sun is setting. And I'm hoping not to have to uh, have you guys watch in the dark. So we are going to do the same thing. We're going to stick that in that orientation. So the important thing with drills is we want it to pretty much be... So that drill, those engines might get caught in the cockpit might get caught, but there's ways to work around that. This is our first flying mining craft, so we have to get it the first round. Okay, as you can see, I finished grant, er, uh, welding the front. Now we have a very large surface that we can drill with. And as you can see, everything is pretty much covered. They stick out a little bit. Nothing's too crazy. So, and on the previous one, I did put a connector right here on the side. That now I can dock with stuff. Which I will immediately, so if we jump in the cockpit, you can see down in the bottom right hand corner, I'm at 7% H2. So, and I've only got 3 hours of power, I'm, I'm pretty limited. But let's make sure that, let's check, I'm pretty sure we've oh, pretty much burned through all the ice already. So I'll make one more trip of ice. Just in case something goes wrong, I don't want to crash my ship. Prefer to land it nicely. We're going to stick this straight into the O2 generator. And so that's why it's important that you're capable of mining lots of ice. So one last thing that we do need to add is gyro. We're going to add two of them. They're great to have, and you definitely, they are a must have on flying ships, whereas rovers, I didn't necessarily always have them, but they definitely come in handy sometimes that you don't want to get stuck. So I can 
luckily we can mount these pretty much anywhere. We're just going to mount them put them here in the front. Oh man, they're coming right for me. Luckily we sorted out. That would have sucked to lose the ship that we haven't even flown yet. So we are going to now add a place for this to land. So we're going to need a connector of a small variety. But we're also going to let's see. We're going to need a junction because I want to offset it a little bit. We're just going to stack up three of those. It's going to be a little excessive, but it's easier to go that way than not have enough. And let's make sure we keep some more of those. And I think they're done. So we are going to put a spot for it to land on top. So let's scroll through our toolbox. And we are going to put this, because I know the connector has a large thing on the bottom. So I, if I get it locked on first so it snaps. So I need it to be like, so those are all large. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to So we've got small three across the top. Uh, there's going to be no good way to do this. Let's try again. So the other alternative is we do have this port on the back and it'll be nice to add a place for other stuff to be added on. So we're going to just build this up a little bit, just so when we land, we're not going to interfere with anything. And these hydrogen thrusters, the same as all thrusters, if you're too close to stuff, they will actually damage stuff. So you can wreck stuff pretty fast. And so you want to be careful. Make sure you essentially insulate whatever's below you with some of these armor blocks. If uh, your thrusters are right next to something. So now I've got a place for our, uh, our miner to land. So I, since we have such limited hydrogen, I want to make sure that we have a place that I can go right away. I shouldn't burn through hydrogen super fast just because we don't have a whole lot of weight to it. So, actually, I need to refill my tanks. And we'll refill the oxygen. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, apparently my... Oh, yeah, it's because my suit's tank was low. Okay. So here's the fun bit, we are going to... So when I cut this, because the dampener down on the bottom left, dampening is on, I should be fine. So I'm going to zoom out so that I can be aware of what's going on. I'm going to jump out and I'm going to cut this and hopefully I don't fall. Oh, my truth, right? Trust fall. If I can get close enough to cut it. See how I dropped a little bit? Not anything crazy. So, I put a space bar, go up. The same way you fly, essentially. So, we are going to bring it over here. And I'm going to hold down Alt so I can line it up. And then I'm going to press C to slowly drop, making sure that I'm still lined up. Disadvantage of large thrusters when you're empty is you, uh, yeah, it's overkill. So 
I'm gonna do this the correct way. I need to press G and I need to add my connector down to the poor and switch lock. Because if I was press park, it would actually disconnect the uh, the uh, rover from the station. So just like looking at it, those thrusters look like they're still working. That's because we're on the rover. So we're gonna add a, we're gonna make another group. So I'm gonna take back off again. Just so there's a little bit of distance. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select my large thrusters. We're gonna create a group. And we're just gonna call it thrusters. And then we're gonna go back to the G menu and we're gonna select the groups. We're gonna drag it down and we're gonna to toggle on and off. It's not going to be a huge fan of it, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to press 2, and they're all going to shut off. As you can see. And now my hydrogen should be climbing until I run out of hydrogen on the base as well. So I'm going to press K. So I've got a hydrogen tank on the, the base, and that's why it's a different color. So the cool thing is you can um so since this one's off sometimes you can refill like batteries or whatever else so if we go up to my battery on this thing it should be charging a little bit but the base is and uh engine is off currently so we're going to turn that back on, just charge up the battery a little bit as well. And it's going to be recharged in one hour, so we're making pretty good heaven. I'm going to give this a minute or two, and then we'll come back and we'll fly it. Okay. One last thing that we need to do is we're going to press G. And we're going to do block tools and we're going to put that down there. So now when I click, I can right and left click and it's the same way as if you're using your drill. So important thing to remember before you disconnect, you have to press two to engage your thrusters. <clears throat> if you do not do that, you will fall off and you will break something. I'm not going to take the rover out this time. I'm going for ice because that is a super valuable resource right now to me in all these hydrogen thrusters for our test run. So I made this channel previously, but I won't use it. I know there's ice down below right here in this spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and it's just going to auger away, but not put it in my inventory. See if we've hit it yet. Uh, yep. So I'm gonna make a little trail real fast. So now I've got kind of an area that my, as you noticed before, everything can fit in now. So I'm gonna left click and we're gonna pick up ice. Something to bear in mind because I didn't let it fill up all the way, we have to pay attention to the hydrogen. And as I get more heavier, as I get heavier, I'm gonna use more and more hydrogen in order to support my weight. And you can see the weight up of the hydrogen. There's the weight for this, this vehicle. And as I mine more stuff, that weight goes up. And if you're not careful, you can get yourself stuck. And then you have to dump a bunch of stuff or try to dump a bunch of stuff in order to be able to get out. I'm gonna call that good for now. Let's see how much we got. We're at 10% hydrogen. So we are storing a bunch of the drills, which means that that one cargo container is not working. Yeah, for some reason it's not tr it's not putting it in the large cargo container. So that's something we need to look at. And that's me holding down spacebar. This thing does not want to fly as nice as it did before when it's empty. All 
I am in just immediate I need to land. I'm at 6%. Five percent. Four percent left. That's hardly any hydrogen whatsoever, but we made it. And if you noticed, I'm not sure if I did any damage to it, but let's check. This thruster right here it looked like it was coming down. It was pretty close, but it doesn't look like it did any damage to this. Something to bear in mind. But for some reason, this cargo container back here did not collect anything. Makes me question if it's put on correctly. Another way around this. So this could just actually be our, our ice storage for uh, our O2 generator. But from the looks of it, looking down there, so normal junction. So these hydrogen thrusters, because they have too large. Oh, it looks like they put them around the edge. Uh, there's no one else that has or nowhere else that has a good representation of it But I'm not too sure if those are connected or not So if we look so we know we've got a one And then we also have a one on the bottom small ones So if I remember correctly, it's three and three Three large and three small so it should be connected i'm not too sure why it's being funny like that let's check so since this is the current vehicle i'm accessing i should be able to see everything large container it is on so sometimes if your your thing is off then you have run into issues but this one's on so let's see if we can let's see large cargo container. So there's a current one and that's the one on the base and it is not allowing me to drag through. But that could also be, I have to make sure it's small stuff. So there's that. Nickel, I know small. And I can drag that across. So. Did we. We did. But you know that ice is making it out yet. Yep. So what we did is the front of this hydrogen tank has a large port, but we align these all up and they have small. So one way we can fix this is, so those ones don't line up. So essentially I need to build a conveyor from there up to there or there to there. So, Give me a chance to do that conveyor. So these are small conveyor ports. I know that I need one corner and I need a couple straights. I'm not sure exactly how many, so we're gonna queue up three of them. I mm -hmm. need more, but it's a good place to start. So I need to add this. I am going to add this right here because I always assume that's something else and I always assume that's something else. So it's just easier that way. So to get this to work correctly, looks like two worked. And we are going to rotate this so it lines up. And it should feed everything 
back to the, the large storage container and out of the drills. Now they're green lights. So, as you can see, everything is now out of there and everything is probably down in the station. The fact that's on, let's see if this is going up. Ooh, 1%. So what probably happened was the base ran out of out of ice, and so then it was burning through hydrogen, and the uh, there's hydrogen in the tanks, and so that that engine just pulled straight from the hydrogen in these tanks. So let's see if we have we are refilling again. That, in my opinion, was a success. We were able to take it out and mine it and we were able to come back and restock our base with, from what I understand, quite a bit of ice. Let's see how much we walked away with. 107 in that large storage container. We've got quite a bit of ice. That should keep us good for a while so we can focus on other things like going into space. Technically, I guess Mars in our opinion here on Earth is space, but we're gonna actually make it into space and go travel out and explore some asteroids, which we can actually do in this miner. It might not have enough fuel though, with only two tanks. We, it's something we can try out, but we have to bear in mind and be careful so we don't come back in at 100 meters per second and smash into the ground and destroy what we've just created. If you enjoyed this video, I'd ask that you guys like and subscribe. So I know this is a video that you guys are interested in and we'll continue making content on this. I appreciate everyone who watches these videos and if you want anything else, like any suggestions that you want to see, put them down in the comments and I will address those. Thank you so much and hope you have a great day.